Hello and welcome. This is your March 2022 general reading for the sign of Libra. Now it's a general reading, which means it might not resonate with all of you, right? But I do hope it resonates with you anyway. So we're looking at the month of March. March is the month um, of Pisces, so to speak. So the energy is all about emotions. Right? Because my uh, March, March <laughs> Pisces is a very emotional sign, and it is governed by Neptune. And Neptune's only job really is to um, to deepen your your spiritual understanding. So you will more feel things, and you will actually do much better if you trust your intuition this month rather than analyzing Libra, because you're the sign, you know, that is. Um, denoted by a an old-fashioned scale so you're looking for balance and harmony by default and um, and when things are out of sync in your world you are emotionally also suffering and all they're saying is well this month you get an extra boost because simply we are, because, simply because we are in March in the month of Pisces um, to deal with your emotions that little bit better Right? So, anyway, let's have a look at the oval energy for the months ahead. And you have the Osprey. Here we go. And what the Osprey is saying to you with regards to the oval energy for the months, you will notice that in March, you will figure out a lot of things and you will go like, oh my God, this is the whole point here. I have made a lot of progress. They're asking you to look into what you have achieved rather than um, what hasn't quite worked yet, right? Don't sit with stuff that is not resolved yet, right? Allow things to play out, right? Because also, speaking of, of March, which is the third month, three is the number of progression, you're going places. And the Osprey is saying just that, well, you made progress, continue making progress, and you will be fine, right? So don't don't be overly pushy about things. Don't be overly disheartened when things are not quite working as quickly as you would want them to. Okay? Really, really important for the sign of Libra. Now, also, remember, Libra is the seventh sign of the zodiac. And seven and nine are the most prominent numbers in the universe. Well, seven is the number of sevenfold protection. You have probably heard this before. There is the St. Michael's grid. Um, where you literally call him in and ask him for help. And then you literally say, I asked you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. I asked you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. Right? And um, so this is your seven for protection. And when you say it seven times, um, you get an awful lot of power back, right? So it just came came to mind because obviously when you the seventh sign and you know associated with the seventh house and all all these kind of things, seven is your natural number, Libras. So understanding that the universe has a real proper interest in you at all times being fully healed, fully protected in all situations, which is also what Libra by default is asking to be in balance, right? So, in other words, nothing is ever as bad as you feel it is, right? Okay, so just was, that was your overall energy. Now let's have a look at your uh, emotional core. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> you have the spirit of love when it comes to your emotional core. So what they're asking you to focus on is relationships. So. Yes, sometimes in order to make relationships work, you have to let go of your own old baggage, but it feels different when they're talking about trauma. And they're not talking about trauma here, they're talking about you just focusing on how you wish to be loved, right? So it, it basically means if you are already in a relationship, focus on how am I actually feeling inside of it and you know, make changes if there has to be changes. Um, there need to be changes. Talk about stuff, but you have the spirit of love. So the universe is really supportive of your, maybe wrong word, I don't know, of your longing for a relationship that really works, that is really for you. So should you be a single person, a single Libra, so to speak, um, 
understand that the more you feel like oh i don't trust anyone they're all pricks <laughs> you know um that literally shows that you haven't let go of 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 all that trauma and obviously then you know because it still triggers you the universe would send you someone to trigger you even more so you can release it right so have a bit of faith that that you deserve to be loved right really really important because at times libra is a sign um you can be out of balance easily especially when you have been disappointed and all the guides are saying is you have the spirit of love in march for your sign so the universe is really interested in sending you um or fulfilling that feeling and it's almost a need for that yeah i want to have a, a really loving relationship right so that's the energy you're having for your emotions <clears throat> this month so the spirit of love is a really powerful energy and it's all yours libra okay finally let's have a look at the um at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of march 2022 you are watching thomas's tarot page with myself thomas Yannack. please like subscribe and share and if you like my work work <laughs> if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas libras let's have a look at your emotion sorry <laughs> at your opportunities as they present themselves to you and you have the fox here we go short and sweet what the fox is basically saying to you what does the fox say ding, 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 ding. haven't heard that song in a long time anyway wait, wait, wait. what the fox is saying to you is regards to opportunities the fox is an is an old soul so what they're saying is don't think that you can only succeed in areas that you already know right you have been through a lot of stuff you have tried a lot of different things and if something comes to you that is brand new right that is really brand new and you kind of go like how on earth am i supposed to do this have no fear remember that you are an old soul and because you are an old soul you're not bound by just what you know absolutely if you feel like oh there are certain areas where i lack then it's the answer is always very simple you know put the work in right have a get a bigger toolbox which you get by looking at stuff in depth maybe studying stuff in depth that then you know um, gives you more opportunities the point the guides are making is with you though for the months of march 2022 for the sign of libra is to not feel i'm trapped here because i have no experience all they're saying is you know you just you know write your cv send your cvs you know um to companies that you have never had anything to do with or which is another important thing because we're in the month of march uh so pisces it's all about understanding you know um your emotional core and your spiritual core so if you are a person that works spiritually um then all they're saying is you know if you ever felt like oh i wanted to add this or i wanted to begin something now is the time Right? Even if you haven't done it before, when you feel this is truly me and I need to start sometime, um, the time is now. Okay, Guys, that's all I got. Thank you all for watching. Please, please, please like, subscribe and share. That would help me grow the channel immensely. Right, And I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.